Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. This is Suzette from Cloudy Sky today. Today, I am going to frame, and hopefully my angles are a little bit better. This light is a little bit bright. Let's see. And plus, I'm dealing with glass. So we're gonna do something nine by twelve. That's gonna go into the twelve by sixteen. I almost said seventeen. And I have a couple of options. So let's look at the options real quick. I got this vase I did uh, um, from one of those paint nights. Ah, uh, here it is, the paint night. So this one was called a hint of aqua. And the instructor was Andy Jones. Now this one I did with Follow the Sun Art. You know, she's on Patreon. This one I also, I think it was Bianca with um, Part of the Paint Night. Plot Art. This one is mine. And, you know, I went to the beach. And I also made a big one of it. Slightly different. This was also another paint night. So was this. Can't remember all the names. If I didn't put the the email with it, I forgot. This was, I know, Follow the Sun because it was the fox and my fox doesn't look like a fox. It doesn't look like a cat either. Also this one, Follow the Sun. Well, is this Follow the Sun with a lemon art? But this was watercolor. Let's see. No, orange squeeze. This was... Where? Yeah, it was Follow the Sun, because I had the paper right here. And I see the Patreon, I know how it is. And this one, I know was... Let's see if I have the paper behind it, so we don't have to guess. No! So this one was... I want to say Paint Night. And so was this one. Ah, this one was Paint Night, let's see. Layered garden, yeah. So this was paint night. And let's see what this one was. The sailboat was paint night, if you recall. So this one goes with this. So when I do save these things, I know what it is. I remember this from ah, see, I like when I okay. So I put a bunch of papers behind cooler a common day. So I was on event bright, so that's what I was drawing. This was I paint with burbs. I remember that because yeah so this flower ah lovely that hibiscus zoom night so this is follow the sun art okay this is me trying to do a lighthouse crooked river lighthouse I still haven't done it yet I was trying to do it by hand and this was follow the sun art again this one was me this is my rose, which is still alive, but, well, it's not alive. It's pretty much dead, but it's still around, you know, in this green bottle. My dying rose. Well, this was back when it was alive. I did a couple portraits of it. Tried different backgrounds, different techniques, just to get the rose. Um, so this was, I believe, a paint night. Where they had a dessert rose. Ah. So I probably should divide those. This was Follow the Sun Art. Something to do with the sky. Okay, this was a paint night, but it was with oil painting. Yeah. So I did actually oil painting on the watercolor painter. It seemed like it came out alright. Forgot the name of the instructor, but it was part of the paint night. Didn't quite do the figure. So this was the inspiration. That was supposed to be the figure. Some of it looks alright, but you know the oil and paper didn't look too bad. This was also oil and paper. I guess I shouldn't have you know oil needs to <sighs> I guess my oil isn't that good. I believe ah, it looks like I did it twice but ah can't really tell 
Okay, so this was an acrylic, so this was paint night with plaid. But for some reason, I did it twice. This is with a chickadee, spring chicken. Hmm. Feeling this. So this was probably another flood night, and I guess, okay, Andrew Jones, I guess. Trying to remember. Can't remember where this one is from because I don't have no paper. This I remember was Follow the Sun Art. And I did it twice. Ah, a drawing. So this is me sketching away. Okay. So what are we going to frame? I have options. As you can see, tons of options. Probably should. Some of this paper feels nicer than... Some of this was on canvas paper and some of this is on watercolor paper. I think I used the canvas paper up or some old paper I had sitting around. So I was like, I'm going to use up my supply and then I started using the watercolor paper. So the oil was on the canvas paper. Yeah, I had a canvas pad from Frederick's. So I did use up some of those, but I just put them all in here. Probably shouldn't do that, especially with the ones that were oil on the fabric. You can tell the different paper. Well, this is regular paper from your printer. This is the fabric paper. And then this is the watercolor paper. And you know, the fabric is great for everything. Well, maybe not watercolor. Watercolor is great for watercolor and acrylic. I think. So what am I gonna frame? I kinda like this one from Follow the Sun Art. So I'm gonna frame that. Of course, totally unorganized. But I'm gonna use this to open. Huh. I do have my little lint-free gloves i don't stain the glass so the first thing i'm gonna do is attach the artwork to the mat so let's put the frame up So I think this is what I want. Let's see if I have any of that lovely tape I like to use. I like to use this linen tape. So, yeah, you get the idea. I'm going to, but there's some buckling on the paper, so I'm going to flip it over here. Use my trusty exacto knife. I'm buckling the scissors yet. I do not like cutting so
So I'm going to just put a small amount of tape just to make sure I have it lined up properly. Yeah. And then now I'm going to put way more tape because I have a lot of buckling. So, yeah. And that's the thing sometimes with paper. You can use acrylic paint on it. Buckles. Let's make sure before we continue on. Okay. Let's do the other side. So, then I throw away the wrong thing. <laughs> Instead of the tape, I throw away the, the thing that the tape is holding on. Okay. So there, the artwork is in the mat. I do like this turtle. I forgot what she called him, loggerheads. Yeah, funny, I can still see some of my drawing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open the frame first, take off the extra plastic, and then I'll put on my gloves so I don't smudge the glass. Oh yes, this wonderful, um, I think we determined the screwdriver was the best way of lifting up these things. but I do have my 
trusty letter opener. Let's see if this will work. Ah. Just trying to use your fingernail. Boy. So this frame, the top would be right here. Because this is where the hanging hardware is. This is flat. It's just easier for me to apply pressure away. And it's not anything sharp, it's just a letter opener, but still. Okay, so we said this was the top. I'm gonna like a glue so I don't smudge the glass. I had these for a couple of years. I just washed them, so. But I like that they're lint free. That's why I don't smudge my glass while trying to frame something. Oh, my favorite thing. Get a little help from my all here. Oh, nice clean glass. So we determined that where the two holes were, were the top. So I have my artwork here. I'm going to just put it down. We don't need this. I'm not going to keep this this time. Technically, I don't need this either. close it up just make sure I have the top where the top is supposed to be or before we fully put this in yes so this is, should be the top Okay, so we're going to use the letter opener to help me close. Yeah, instead of opening, we're going to close. Oh, so make sure everything is in. And this is good because these little things, when they get in your finger, they hurt. So that's, there it is. I have framed my image using store-bought frames and a store-bought frame, 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 mats and frame. I did start with 9 by 12 paper. I got um, 9 by 12 mats, 
where the inner cut is 9 by 12 the outer cut was 12 16 and then I got some 12 by 16 frames so there it is so if you enjoyed this content please remember like and subscribe thank you